I'm ready for this. We're going. I'm all ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's time. Indeed. Shall we? <laughs> well then. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin.
Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Granny handles locks. You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs, and Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. 